I can just start whenever, just go to it. Hi, I'm Stuart Lane. I'm uh, the executive chef of Spinace and Artuzzi on Capitol Hill, and I'm here to cook some beef substitutes today. Uh, we're gonna do a fire roasted red pepper stuffed with braised oxtail. Um, we're using oxtail to substitute for tuna in this dish. And really, to be honest, there's nothing better than braised beef. And, and it's pretty much like the top of the line in all proteins. So, you know, we're using a very flavorful cut of meat that's been, uh, you know, that we're gonna braise, that we're gonna cut, that takes some time to cook. Maybe this will be the original dish someday because <laughs> it's so tasty. Well, let's just get started. So this is the oxtail right here. So you can see how marble it is right here. And that's just gonna be really flavorful. Let me see if I can find the, this one. It's real marbled with the fat. And so that's gonna get real juicy. So I'm gonna season it. This is just kosher salt. You can be pretty aggressive. And then pepper, this is black pepper. I'm gonna add the meat right now. Wait, okay. Okay, you okay? So then, as this is going on, I'm gonna start roasting the red peppers. You want everything to be soft. This is a very soft recipe. This is not about like textures and like chefing it up. This is just supposed to be like a nice, flavorful, easy to eat meal. This is pretty nicely golden brown at this point. So now I'm gonna flip it over, get the other cut side. I'm trying to get this as dark as possible just because it will just add more and more flavor to the finished dish as much as possible. You're trying to like build as much like of that caramelization which just is flavor and, and really that that seared bit of meat is one of the, I mean, that's why we're doing all this, right? Is that seared beef is the most flavorful thing pretty much on the planet. I mean, nothing like tops that in terms of like its intensity of flavor. So this is what it's all about. It's like right here, this spot. And then I'm gonna add the vegetables to this. This is like mirepoix, this mix is mirepoix. And you could also call it sofrito. Anyway, I'm sorry, this is nerdy, nerding out. And really, this is when you would go and do other stuff. <laughs> this is at this point, this is where you're like drinking wine, talking to people, <laughs> enjoying your life a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little tomato paste to this now. Again, this is like a very, you know, Italian dish in that there's not that many elements to it, right? It's like there's a roasted red pepper, there's a mayonnaise or an aioli, and the meat, and so, and a little bit of a drizzle of something. So it's important that all of those steps have a lot of flavor. Dang, I totally screwed this up. I should have brought a bottle of wine. <laughs> this is like such a mistake on my part. Okay, so yeah, because it would have been like, <laughs> probably in real life, but. Okay, so I'm gonna add the red wine to this now. It's got a little bit of color. Now, we're making a dish where we're gonna stuff these, red pe these roasted red peppers. If we want to, you could just eat this. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this just being the dish. These oxtail just by itself and maybe you like make mashed potatoes on the side or if you're feeling more Italian, like a little polenta or something. I'm gonna add meat back to it with my tongs. <laughs> okay, so then at this point, I'm gonna add the brodo to this so that we can then braise it. And brodo just means like broth in Italian or you know, I would use beef stock to double down on it or whatever you have that's like super flavorful. It makes sense if it was beef though, just to give it like extra beef flavor. All right, and then I'm just gonna add it to, you know, traditional braising amount is like three quarters of the way up. So we're probably gonna check, set a timer for like two and a half hours to, to check the meat's tenderness at that point. If it's still kind of sticky to the bone or it seems very firm, then I would you know, let it go another half an hour and then just check it at half an hour intervals at that, after that. Okay, so we're gonna take the oxtail out of the oven and pull out this piece of meat. We're gonna pick it and chop it a little bit. I'm just gonna use my tongs to kind of pick it. You can see how tender it is and unctuous and like, that smells so good. <laughs> the beef, just the beefiest beef flavor. And then again, I'm gonna season it just a little bit, salt, and then chop it roughly. And I'm just gonna taste it for seasoning. I'm gonna taste it for seasoning. It's really just for me to enjoy it. Okay, so now we're just gonna add some of this to the aioli or aioli to this. And just use a little bit of it to bind it and then stuff it inside. We're just gonna go for it. So again, I would just be like this and then That's pretty much it. This is 
fire roasted red peppers stuffed with braised oxtail and aioli with uh, balsamico and uh, oxtail reduction. Pretty good. The beef and the red pepper goes great together. It's wonderful. Yeah, that's delicious. The oxtail and the red pepper and the mayo is just like this creamy thing. It's so good. I need more. If you wanted to make this or other beef substitute dishes, you can go to beefitswhatsfordinner.com. Beef, it's what's for dinner.